Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, today's video we're going to go over check the stop piston. If you didn't already know the stop piston we use as an emergency stop method on the engine. Uh, so diesel engine, the best way to stop is to cut the fuel. And the stop piston is an air actuated piston and it's going to press against the fuel pump to basically stop fuel going into the engine and that will cut it out. I'm going to show you today on our smaller engines, the MAK ATEM 20E, purely because the stop piston is a bit easier to see what's going on than the bigger engines, but the principle behind it is exactly the same. So I've already taken the covers off, so let's get, go take a look how it is normally, then I'll actuate the stop piston and talk you through the checks we're going to do. Okay, so here we have the engine, I've already taken the covers off as you can see, and as you can see we've got the fuel pump here, Currently I can push that index arm in and as that moves in, more fuel is given to the engine and if you go down you can see that's controlled by the cover on the end there. So our stop piston, what you can see on this engine is this is part of the piston here and I don't know if I go over, you can see the back of the piston there. We have air flowing into this pipe up the back of the back of the piston that will push this out up against this down pin and that will stop us from being able to push that piston in, uh, the index arm in. So I'll go up, I'll actuate the stop piston and we can go around checking the wall. Okay, so I've actuated the emergency stop. As you can see, the piston's come out. That's pushing against the index arm. We can try as hard as we can to push that in. It's not going to go anywhere. So I'm quite confident the fuel's going to get cut off on that one. So what we want to do is go through every unit, push all the indexes in, make sure nothing's moving. And then secondly, you want to check for air leaks. So normally the solenoid valve for this is closed. Um, stop this, it's activated, so for the solenoid valve. Air's going to be flowing down these pipes as you want to pressurise this to come out. So with my hand, I'm just going to be checking for air leaks on all the connections. Check that I can't push these in. And if all's okay, then we know that's worth as it should be. So, real basic check, but very important should you need to stop the engine in emergency. Yeah, so there we are, that's the full check. As you can see, it doesn't take a long time. It probably takes more time to take the covers off. What I'll do now is I'll reset the alarm. So it, uh, we'll close that valve, stop it, and go back in, the engine will be back ready to start. So here's our alarm panel, you can see emergency stop ECR, emergency stop vocal. All I'm going to do is reset these. Then walk around the other side of the engine again. See that stop piston's retracted back in. And these arms are once again free to move. Engine's back ready to start. I'll take it back up to the ECR, I'll just switch the engine over to auto mode again and then I'll come back down and put these covers back on. Yeah, so there we are, I don't think there's much more I can say about that. Uh, in a couple of months I might be doing an overhaul on some fuel pumps on the big engines. So maybe then I can do another video showing you a bit more up close how it works. But really it's basic gear piston, not much to talk about. But if you do have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments or send me a message. And please make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you.